We've been showing you the inspiring work Arizona volunteers are doing with Ukrainian refugees in Poland. And Jared, you went there firsthand mm -hmm. four days last mm -hmm. week. And now you're showing us some local families resettling those refugees in temporary homes. Yeah, this was incredible to watch this whole day unfold. Kind of an adventure for yeah. everybody involved. This is a multi-generational family. They left Ukraine with absolutely nothing. But fate brought them together with a group from the East Valley. Outside a big mall in Krakow, refugees wait in the cold for a hot meal from the World Central Kitchen. Inside, we find a group of women from Gilbert, Arizona, taking one family under their wings today. It's a woman, her sister, her daughters, and grandsons. How old are you? Ten. Ten years old. The men in the family all stayed in Ukraine. The women are here with nothing. Volunteers from Arizona are changing that. Oh, these are pretty. Buying them blankets, groceries, everything the family needs for a new temporary home. All the potatoes in one. The Arizona volunteers paid their own travel and lodging, and they just spent $600 from fundraising efforts to stock the family up in Krakow. Their work began after Marcy Foster and her husband diverted from a tropical spring break to Poland with their kids. We want them to see, you know, outside of our little bubble in the East Valley, what people experience in the world and what true suffering can be. On this, their second trip, they've used contacts in the Polish government to find housing for this Ukrainian family. All right, we're out in the country now. This is about an hour and a half outside the city of Krakow, and this is where they were able to find a house, small house for this family of refugees to move into, uh, or at least for the time being. So we're going to be there as they see it for the first time and start to set it up. There are challenges along the way, including trying to follow directions. Take the third exit onto Alea Zolkanerzy Pierway Army Waska Polski Ego Droga Krajowa 97. And we got to the farmhouse only to find no key. Just get it, maybe it's another example of how it really is grassroots volunteers without much experience making it work, figuring out all the logistics for resettling refugee families. With the sun setting, I eventually proved my worth for the day. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh, found it. Okay. <laughs> Finding the key under some debris. Totally undaunted by any of it, the matriarch of the Ukrainian family immediately got to work, setting up their new home. She's over there just trying to make it a home. And I just, so many moments, like I just get, you know, it all comes up and you get super emotional because you think about like, if that was me, that's exactly what I would be doing. I, you know, she's in this strange place and she's trying the best that she can with what little she has to make a home for her kids. And, and she's left her husband behind and she's left her son behind. The neighbor's dog came over to keep the kids busy. Say hi to the dog. Okay. You say hi. Oh, no. <laughs> As the boys settled in, we couldn't help but wonder if or when they'll see their dad, uncle, and grandfather again. I thought about my own brothers and, you know, what that would feel like to walk away from them and not know if we'd ever see them again. And this is one of many families they're helping. Word of their work is spreading, leading to more calls for help. Who is that? Is that Sergei? That's talking Sergei, yes, he's talking okay. to you. Okay, how did they get our number? A volunteer. In the refugee center. Okay. Da. Translator Natalia is a refugee herself who fled Kyiv, leaving her 19-year-old son behind. Working with this Arizona group, she's found what so many refugees want, a purpose. They have hard challenges, and I, I'm, um, I'm happy I can support them and provide some help with uh, people from America, <laughs> American volunteers. The only tears came as they said goodbye, a parting gift a Ukrainian flag-themed flower arrangement of yellow and blue. This is just supposed to be a bit of home, so when we came in, we told them that we wanted their home right now to have beauty and to remind them of home, Ukraine. Well, you can scan the QR code with your camera phone to bring up links to donate to the causes we are highlighting this week. This family started a nonprofit group called Reach Humanity, which is holding a fundraiser at Schnepp Farms on May 14th. So that unfolded over the course of about eight hours we were with them for that full day. You know, yesterday you showed.